Now it's time to go back under the sea. The Little Mermaid Live was seen by millions of people last night. And Abby Boudreaux joins us once again from outside the stage in Los Angeles, where it all took place. Hey, Abby. Hey, good morning, Michael. We're actually here on set. It's quiet now, but last night the stage came to life in a live TV event where anything could and did happen. It was a live television event to remember. Social media in overdrive during the broadcast, weighing in on Shaggy as Sebastian. Queen Latifah's epic turn as Ursula. Those paws John Stamos's brief blip when he meant to say Prince Eric, but instead it came out as Albert. I knew I should have played Prince Albert or Eric. Stamos later telling us backstage what happened. It was a bit <laughs> nervous. I'm jumping on tables and doing and throwing everything. food, and it's hard to catch your breath, but I Flower it up. I still have flour <laughs> in my thing. And speaking of princes. How come when she looks at me, it seems like time stops? Graham Phillips took the stage as Prince Eric in The Little Mermaid Live. It feels like my destiny is calling instead from mysterious valleys below. Stealing the show right next to Graham, Bagel the Sheepdog. What I give is just one said hello. So before the song, I'm like, it's going to be okay, but I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> All nerves aside, Graham did an amazing job as Prince Eric and the rest of the cast telling us they had a blast and loved the experience. Now, John Stamos even telling me that next time he would love to do Beauty and the Beast. And I hope for that, Michael. Yeah, we all hope for that. They all did a great job last night. It really was a fun show to watch. And fans really did love Bagel the Sheepdog as well. She got a lot of praise online. It's one of the most popular castings on the show, sharing the stage with Prince Eric and now joining us live from Los Angeles, Prince Eric himself, our man, Graham Phillips. Good morning, Graham. How you doing, Michael? So, Graham, how does it feel to have it all over, all the adrenaline rush of a live show with over? How are you feeling this morning? It feels pretty good, I got to say. I was, I was a little nervous, um, but uh, I'm getting a little echo. I don't know if we can, we can deal with that. Well, echoes make me nervous, too. But um, it was, I know, I know. It, it really puts me in my head. I'm getting flashbacks to last night. <laughs> but you know, but last, last night was really incredible to watch. A lot, a lot of fun. I heard that your mother and your eight-year-old niece were in the audience. So what was their review after the show? What did they tell you what they thought? Well, my mom was just over the moon. You know, she loves hearing me sing. Um, but my eight-year-old niece, for some reason, you know, she was, she's like my harshest critic. Uh, she's, she's a huge Little Mermaid fan. But, you know, she, uh, she just, she never really saw me as Prince Eric. She's like, you're Uncle G. Like, I don't see how you can make this happen. But I, I think I flipped her by the end of the night. So I was really happy about it. Well, I'll tell you. Um, it, but we also, how, how was it behind the scenes? We saw some behind the scenes things that happened. Was there anything behind the scenes that was a little crazy that we didn't get a chance to see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, this whole, this whole process was just crazy. I mean, as you can tell from the production, it, there's a ton of technical elements that had to come together. And they really did at the last second, like really in the 11th hour. We just had two dress rehearsals. And, you know, everything seemed to be going wrong at the very beginning of the first dress rehearsal and we were all like, oh no, did we make a terrible, terrible mistake? And somehow it came together in the final time that we did it, when we did it live. And so that, that always feels really good. Well, you guys definitely didn't make a mistake. It was fantastic. And you've done Broadway before. You've done Broadway before, but it's a very, this is different. This is mashing yeah. like Broadway and live musical with TV. How, how nerve wracking was that? Well, I tried to just, you know, put out, put it out of my mind how many people were actually watching. Um, it's funny, when I was walking to set, uh, about two minutes before I came on, 
you know, I was just trying to be in the zone, and I saw one of the people at, in ABC and Disney's PR department. She had a big smile on her face. I was like, hey, how's it going? She's like, oh my God, it's so good. We're just getting the numbers in. We're figuring out how many people are starting to tune in, and it looks like, and I'm like, please, do not tell me that. That's the last thing I need clanging around my head right before I go on, is how many millions of eyes are gonna be on this whole thing. So I just focused on the audience in the room, and um, you know, we had the pros at Disney helping us out, so we felt pretty good. Well, I tell you what, that focus paid off. Millions of eyeballs were watching you. Graham, great job. Hopefully we'll see you soon back on Broadway, my friend. But it's a great job. Go get Thank yourself you, some rest. So. Get some sleep, all right? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.